We're live, y'all. Live and in person. So come on in. Park anywhere. Just park. It's funny. Um, when we were teenagers, my husband, Ninja Man, he and I had a favorite radio station, Z93, here in the Atlanta area. And um, Gary McKee was the DJ. We called them DJs back then because they literally were, hey, Teresa. I think they were literally using records back then. I don't know. But anyway, we called them DJs. And Gary McKee from Z93. Hey, Gloria. Hey, Angela. Um, Gary McKee from radio station Z93 back in the 70s. He was so funny, y'all. The things he came up with. Hey, Michelle. And there's Teresa parked on the bed with the doggies. Oh, hun, that's where I'm going in short. Nyoka, hey, girl, hey. <laughs> so Gary McKee, he had this thing about, come on in, park anywhere. Hey, Lisa, I'm so glad to see you here. Um, so he would say, come on in, park anywhere. So anytime, I mean, for the last 45 some odd years, Anytime Ninja Man and I see somebody park like they've lost their minds, we always go, come on in, park anywhere. <laughs> Some things just stay with you. Um, so y'all, I got a lot tonight. I'm going to go on down to the desktop here. First of all, thank you guys for being here. Y'all are so sweet. We are going to be playing with this paper today. Now, let me tell you about this situation, this is celebration. Y'all know, I've been telling you, it's going to end on September 30th, which is um, in a few days. Now, they have already sold out of this, and I was supposed to check before I came on, and I forgot to, to see if anything else was sold out. But we're using this paper today, and I want to tell y'all, there's something real special going on about the very last few days of celebration, at least for me, because I'm, I'm making it special for y'all, okay? So we're going to use the punch here that goes with the Penguin Place stamp set, and it also punches out some of those papers that I just showed you. And let's see, okay, so the thing I've got going is this. This, in your words... This is a um, celebration host set, so you can't just get it like if you um, if you were to just order fifty dollars worth, you would not get this free. You have to have a hundred and fifty dollar order to get this free, if it's even available anymore. I don't know. This is brand new, has never been used. See, it's still in pristine condition. So here's the thing, everybody. Everyone who places an order with me using the September host code right there, you might want to take a screenshot. Um, if you use the September host code and your order is more than $50 before shipping and before tax, you will be eligible to win this set. And everyone who orders between now and September 30th um, will receive. It doesn't matter if, if, you're, if your order, as long as your order is $50. Okay, so let me start over. $50 or more, you're in the um, drawing for this set. I only have one. And $50 or more, and you will also get 10 handmade cards from me. Okay? Um, everyone who orders, whether it's 150 or 50 or, or anything over $50 is going to get 10 handmade cards from me. They're free with a $50 purchase. And that's just from me. That's not a Stampin' Up! thing. And this is just from me. This is not a Stampin' Up! thing. So this says, perhaps the stars were openings where our loved ones shine down to let us know they are happy. That's sweet. Sending this card for no particular reason. I see you and you are wonderful. Now, I would, I would cut that stamp and just say you were wonderful. I mean, it, I, I, am, I would. There's magic in every beginning. Hope your day is fantabulistic. That's fabulous and fantastic all in one. Here's a really good happy birthday. Very nice font there. Be who you were born to be. 
Hope this card makes you smile. Your birthday came, your birthday went. Here is the card I should have sent. <laughs> and then life is full of ups and downs. Hold on tight. Okay? So it's just a cute little bunch of different things, you know. Okay, so y'all got that? Order over $50 or fifty dollars or more before tax and shipping, and you will be eligible to win that. And I'll draw the winner after September 30th, my, my next live after September 30th. And everybody ordering $50 or more will get 10 free cards that I will mail out separate from your shipment. Okay, your shipment will come right from Stampin' Up. And all you got to do is go to my um, my little website, kathybow.stampinup.net, and order from there. And if it's under $150, use this, use this, <laughs> this, hang on, we're getting there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, here it comes. There it is. Use this host code, okay? Uh, under $150. If it's over $150, go ahead and order. Just um, don't use that host code. All right. So let's let's see what we got going, y'all. I did a lot of preparation on this because um, I have not made this card before. And I, I, I mean, I made one today and it takes a good bit of prep. So I did a whole lot of that in advance. So I'll show you what I got. I got a basket full of stuff, okay? And in this basket, we have the rectangle, stitched rectangle dies. We have the Christmas tree dies right here. And I got stuff to tell y'all too. Y'all ain't even gonna believe all the things. We got the whimsical tree stamps that I've, I've already stamped and cut those out. We've got the, boop, here it is, the little, um, Mini holiday. Oh, wait. <laughs> That's the catalog. It came on up. Oh, hey, Dana. So good to see you here. Um, this is the little penguin punch. It's Y'all, it's so stinking cute. We are going to have to use this guy. Y'all, this is an old thing from Stampin' Up! Mica Flakes. I pull them out at Christmas time, and this is just like a winter card. It could be Christmas. Um, well, I mean, I'm using a Christmas sentiment, but I thought I would use this too, because that's, that's what we're going to do with the laminator, y'all. The laminator, okay? All right. Let's see what else we got in here. Okay, we got this that I'll show you something of. We've got, we're using the Just Jade ink. We've, I've already used that to stamp our sentiment, which is right here, okay? Wishing you a Christmas cheer and magical moments that last all year. Now, we haven't had magical moments that last all year in a while, but that's okay, right? Right, okay. Um, <laughs> let's see what else I got in here. I don't know. Um, I got ribbon right here. We might use this. I did not use it on the trial card, but y'all, it's so pretty. I, it, it's just so pretty. We might use that, okay? Okay, so here we're going to get started. This is the silicone craft sheet. Y'all. I use this all the time. I got two of them, and I, I just do. I use it all the time. Now, if you're watching and you hadn't said, hey, hey, yet, give me a shout. Let me know you're here. Okay, before I forget this multi-liner here, this is a 0.5, and it, it's a Copic multi-liner. Um, Nyoka, amen on the magical moments. They haven't been around for a while, right? I know, girl. Um, so y'all, on this, on this paper that I cut my little bears out of, uh, hold on, where'd I put him? Where'd I put my bears? My bears. All right, here we go. This is the free paper. If it's still in stock, y'all, you gotta grab it. Okay, so this is what I went ahead and fussy cut. I cut out the, a fox. A bear, and we're gonna be punching the um, we're we're gonna we're gonna punch us a penguin, penguin punch. All right, but if you look at the bear, you see 
for me, it was kind of hard to see the line around him because it's so, uh, it's so, it blends in so much with that background. So my solution was to just outline him with my 0.5 little, it's called a multi-liner, y'all. I don't even know. It's just, it's not, it's not like a permanent marker. Well, it probably is permanent, but it, it's not like a um, Sharpie or anything like that. So it doesn't bleed. Um, so if you need to do this or want to do this, then do that. But, you know, play around on your paper on a scrap somewhere first. Now, I, I want to show y'all this. Isn't he cute, Naoka? He just cute as a button. I want to show y'all, too. If you can see, right around here, he's got a little white. Just a little white on his paper, okay? But, I mean, it's not enough to really worry about. But I just want to show y'all how I handle that. Just going to put him down here. Okay, and yeah, my nails are, um, whatchamacallit, um, Color Street, Color Street. I'll show y'all, this is them, and my friend, thank you, Nyoka, my friend, uh, I know a lot of people that sell them, but my friend, um, Martha sells them, and I think I got these from her, so I just wanted something fun, and this looks like a dress my sister and I used to share when we were teenagers, well, I was a teenager, anyway, so I'm just going to go around his little his little pile right there. And, and that's all I had to do, just that little bit. And that covered up the little edge of white paper, okay? I mean, it it's just one of those, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. But I'm just saying, if you wanted to, and I didn't want to forget. Let's see which way to, y'all know I always, ah, I did it right. Yay! Y'all know I always mess that up. Okay, so this right here is this Scotch Thermal Laminating, and they're called pouches, y'all. Let me tell you something. I know things are crazy, and it's hard to get stuff, but this is a 200 of these were, thank you, Angela. They're fun. Um, 200 of these were like, I don't know. It seemed like they were like $26 or $36. And I know, hey, Michelle Fish, y'all, I got to meet Michelle Fish. She's so sweet. I'm so glad to see you here. Um, It was super duper cheaper than I've ever paid for before. I usually get a pack of maybe 50, I think. I don't know. But anyway, this is what we're using tonight. They are eight and a half by 11, unless you come in and cut them up like I did. And this one would be four and a quarter by 11 because I cut it down the middle. Now, I want to show you this. The idea with laminating, and some of you, some of you have used laminating sheets before and some have not. Um, oh, Michelle, I was so happy to help and I'm so happy that you came by. So y'all, here's an idea. When you, when you, have one of these sheets. They're called pouches because there's a seal right here. Okay, so you're going to open it up and let's just say you want to laminate a card or something. Come on now. I'm, I'm telling you, it it's kind of, it's tricky, y'all. Hold on. Here it comes. Nope. False alarm. Hold on. Hold on. Come on now. Y'all, I'll get this open if it's, if it is the last thing I do. I don't want it to be the last thing. last thing I do is probably going to be, well, crafting. Yeah, yeah. Take me out while I'm crafting. I'll be happy. Or eating. Okay, here we go. Oh, hey, Heather. Okay, so see how it, it has this crease at the top of your laminating, they call it a pouch. Okay. Um, Heather, you hadn't missed the stories yet because I've got stories. But Heather's heard a couple of them. Okay, so there's that sealed line there. So you can put stuff in it, right? Like a business card. I'll show you a business card. i show you one. Oh, look, it just happens to be my business card. So, you know, you would put it in here. Okay, I'm not going to try to do it again, but you would put it in here and run it through the machine and it would come out thick plastic. Okay? Okay, that's what laminating is all about. That was laminating 101. Okay, so let's just say you have a scrap and you're like, but wait, there's not a there's not a closure on it. It doesn't have a 
folded edge because I cut it out, right? All right, I'll show you what to do. Boom. I got my laminator. It's all hot. This, um, it's hot enough for three mil, which I'm pretty sure that's what you would get if you just order a laminating, uh, I mean, laminating papers, pouches. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get it started in here and then I'm going to pull it back out before it laminates the whole sheets because this is two separate sheets laying together and I want them to be connected. So here we go. All right, it caught. Now I'm going to release and pull it out. Okay. Now, do you see, you see this edge here? It laminated that shut. Okay. So now when I go to open it, Okay, got it? Now we could go this way and that way and then just make a pocket of something if we want it. There's a lot of things you can do. I'm going to leave them running because we're not finished. We're not. Okay, so this is the old Stampin' Up! Mica Flakes. And the card that I'm going to show you toward the end is... um is is just a little overdone because I was practicing and seeing how I wanted to do it. Now don't don't have stuff flying in here, which I just did. Okay. Um, but I'll show you that one in a little bit. We're just gonna put some oh my fan is on overhead, which y'all know that's never a good idea, right? We're just gonna put some like this and and when I first did this I was like I wonder if that's going to melt. Okay, we're going to close it. And yes, a couple of pieces just jump ship, but that's okay. That's okay, these two. I'm not opening it to put them back. I'm just going to drop them. Now, you'll see later where I did the whole sheet, okay? All right, so I'm just going to pick it up. It's, it's, not, it's not so fragile that it's going to all blow away, unless your fan is on in the background. Oh, forget that one. Okay, so here we go. Y'all ready? Heather, yes. Um, you should have some of those mica flakes. This laminate machine, I mean, y'all, they're so cheap. They're so cheap. This is a, a, uh, y'all know I've told you before I'm a cheap date, right? Okay, so this is, it's just a great tool. I use it frequently. It's, it never fails to just make me go, wow. So you see, I mean, let's talk about birthday or um, these flakes. They're going to be snow tonight or ice, you know, snow and ice. Okay, now I'm going to turn this bad boy off because he's hot and we're done. We're done with him. I'm going to unplug him too because he tried to kill me earlier. Not really. I was just thinking I need to unplug it so I don't fall, but did I? Nope. But I also didn't fall, so that's good. Okay, so now we have these guys, and see there's a little black piece of poodly poot right there. I don't even know what that is, but it's there. It's in there, but it's okay. We can we can probably work around it. Um, poodly poop, y'all. Poodly poop. Okay, um, we're getting to that. Hold on, I'm not quite ready. All right, here we go. The first thing we're gonna do, we're going to punch the outside of our little penguin all right now i'm gonna forget what to call him shortly so we'll just we'll just say he's a penguin and if i call him something else y'all can help me later <laughs> i'm using this um beautiful y'all y'all need this paper this is um shoot it's a black it's in the halloween section of the mini catalog and um it's it's absolutely gorgeous. I didn't buy anything Halloween because I don't really, I mean, we don't, we just don't have trick-or-treaters. You know, I've told y'all that. Okay, so I'm just trying to not use a whole lot. Oh, Heather, the silicone, the silicone craft sheet, I don't, I, I, I use mine constantly and I'm constantly having to wash it too because I keep, I don't know, I keep, um, I keep getting glue on it. All right, there we go. Now, here we go. Okay. Um, so we've got the background of the penguin. Now we need the rest of the penguin. Now, um, 
Gloria, I don't have a laminator, but I have a mink. Wonder if it's too hot to use on the laminate. I don't know, Gloria. Um, I would Google that or even go on um YouTube and just see what you know what the majority says about that. I really think it would be okay because some people who don't use a mink, they do use a laminator. So it it might work. Um Christina says, I always love the sparkly papers. Me too. Okay, so once before I showed y'all, and I'm just going to go ahead and show y'all again because it's it's just good to know, okay? This is a sticky note, a post-it note, and it's sticky just on one edge. Um, we, we just want to cut out, we're going to cut out the center of this, of this little penguin, okay? And hey, Christina, by the way, I'm so glad you're here. All right, so he's got to fit in this way. All right, that, that's going to be him, okay? But let's pretend that I don't have that big old edge to hold on to and it's too hard to get in there and all that, okay? I've shown you all this before, but I'll show you again. Here we go. We just put a little post-it note on there. And it's like a handle. It's like a little penguin handle. <laughs> so I've got to look at him kind of close to get it right. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think that looks good. What do y'all think? Boop. I hope you like it because there he is. Whoop, there he is. So that's how you would manage um, when it's tiny, tiny. And now right around here, I don't like it that his, it looks like part of his head is missing because I got it just a little off. So I'm coming back to that 0.5 little sharp, not a Sharpie, um, but it's a Copic fine liner. There we go. I've put his little head back together, okay? Super simple. Um, Copic Multiliner 0.5, and it's water and uh, alcohol ink proof, so it'll work pretty much for everything. We're just going to stick him on there like that, and the reason I cut him out of this is because I wanted him... Oh, wait a minute. Something looks a little weird right there. Hold on. I wanted him to... Um, to look cold, right? He's got to look cold. Hold on, I got to fix his little nose here. There we go. Okay. I mean, I guess I guess that's too much detail, right? But it's okay. I'm using the multi-purpose uh, liquid glue Tombow because it's a bumpy surface, you know. Um. Angela loves the post-it tip. That was worth my whole admission fee tonight. <laughs> Right, right. It's it's a great little. I mean, you're like, how do I get that in there? There you go. Um, yes, um, Christina. It is good to know when something's small. Zyron has a laminate cartridge I could use it without heat. Oh, there you go. There you go. I know you're gonna knock knock it out of the park, Gloria. I know you are. <laughs> you guys. Okay, here we go. I'm using. Oh dear. Oh dear. Did you? Did y'all see that? Has he, he's a little bossy. He's just a little bossy, y'all. I'm going to show him, uh, y'all know what I'm going to do. I'm going to set him to the side and let him think about what he's done. That's right. That's right. But yeah, I got stuff to tell y'all. Okay, so this is our little penguin right here. Isn't he cute? And he's all sparkly. Yes, I love my Zyron too. Um, I found one at a Goodwill ages ago, and I've, I've still got it. I was just so excited to find it, and I tried to tell them what it was worth, and they were like, that's what it's priced at. I'm like, okay. Seems like I got it for like $2, and it was the big one. I don't know. Of course, the cartridges, you know, you'll pay for that. Okay, so I've got him done. Um, yeah, all right, so now we're going to start with our card. Y'all, this is this is a couple of things that that I want to show you how I did this. We're gonna take those. Uh, let's see, we're through with him. The rectangle stitch dies. Okay, so I probably used. Let's see. Um, nope. Please hold. I had them all out, but then I was afraid they were gonna get bent, so I put them back in. Okay, here we go. 
This is one of them right here. I know it, things are moving everywhere. This is one that I used to cut this out, okay? Now, what I did, um, Nyoko looks like a Drac <laughs> Dracula penguin. Yes, he does. <laughs> ah, Dana, yes, it was a great find. And I'm always like, don't y'all know what you've got here? And they're always like, just pay for it and go on. Go home, lady. And I'm like, okay, I just want to make sure. So, y'all, what I did... I laid, before I cut them out, let me show you, before I cut them out, um, pretend like, pretend like this is it, okay? I took the die cut and I ran it through, I, I centered everything over here, all right? I ran this through with both both pieces of card stock, the front of the card plus the piece I'm adding, all right? And then I got, it just popped, you know, it popped everything out. Well, I ran this one through a second time because these little notches, it's stitched. It's called a stitched rectangle because it's got these um, stitched edges, okay? And the little, um, the little edges just nestle right down in there and they fit perfectly. So I was able to put it back in here, run it through again, and that way everything is even on the card. I hope that makes sense cuz you're cutting it you're cutting them together which was this, all right? I cut them together like that. All right? And this is what came out. Okay? All right, so so I peeled this part out, and this is left. I really should have done that on camera, I guess, to explain it better, but hope y'all can, can get what I'm saying. All right, so this is going to be like a picture window here. Let me get rid of this piece, because it will, it will mess me up, y'all. All right, so this is going to be kind of like our picture window. I'm going to use our, and there's a right side and a wrong side, to these dies. You see that's not as pronounced right there, but then over here, I hope you can see it. It's very pronounced. It's it's very um, clearly a little stitched pattern. All right. Let's see. I need this right here. Get that over there. Y'all. Uh. So I've been in here. Y'all, I, I, let me tell you a couple of things. First of all, about my job. My job is to be in here and create things and share them with y'all. And I worked in the corporate world for many, 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 many years. And I'm very thankful that I am no longer doing that because of my age. Um, I'd probably get fired. Oh, Gloria, thank you. Gloria's got it. She knows what I'm talking about. Um, I, I would get fired like every day because, nah. I'm, I'm too old for some of that mess. But anyway, um, now I'm just trying to zero in and get it. And, and believe me, I'm going to show you on the earlier card that I made toward the end of our video tonight. I'm going to show y'all what happens if you try to cut this piece and then cut the other piece separately and all that. Okay. Um, so I'm very thankful for, for the work that I do now. And, and it's, I mean, it's, it, it's enjoyable work, no doubt, but, um, but it's a job, y'all. It, it's a real job. Um, I came in at four today at four in the afternoon and started working on this design and it was, um, you know, I wasn't even sure it would work. And then I realized it, it's kind of tedious, but it's a fun card. You're not going to make you know, multiples of these, I promise you. I mean, you you can do what you want, but y'all mm -mm, not going to want to. You'll be like, I'm, I'm just going to go buy cards at the Dollar Tree. But no, um, this is, this is a special card and, and there's a lot more to it, but it's okay. It's okay. It's enjoyable. So now we're going to put the frame on this. Y'all going to be proud of me because, oh dear, maybe you won't. Um, Okay, some of this is going to have to be erased off, which y'all don't usually get to see my eraser, but you will tonight because I got a little crazy. 
I know I should have put it on the green, but I don't always do what I'm supposed to. Okay, so I've got my little eraser. Come on now. It's a it's a glue eraser, and we'll wait. We're not ready for it. We're going to let it dry a little bit. Put it over here and let think about what it's doing, okay? Along with its friend, the, the penguin, who thought he was going to run around and get crazy. Okay, so let's see. We've got that part. And now, let's see if I want to do it that way. Yep, I do. Okay, so I'm going to take this, and I'm going to lay it down on the front of the card on the inside. All right, so it's going to look like this. Okay, all right. And we could have used a whole lot more snow, but I got an example of that over here, too, so you'll see it. Um, okay, y'all, so I, I did want to tell y'all some stuff. First of all, y'all, and, uh, okay, I don't know what you call this. Um, Nyoka, special card for special person, not for the folks who open the cards, toss them in. Oh, girl, I'm tell. Mm, I know, I can't even imagine, I cannot imagine all this, any, any of these cards, you know, where people just like, oh, whatever, toss. Uh, yeah, no, mm, mm Okay, so I'm going to cut just a little edge off of here, right about there. I forgot to tell y'all. Remember that early boyfriend that was so rude? I say early because it would have had to been 50 years ago for me. Okay, so see, it's just going to fit over just like that, all right? We're going to use the um, double-sided tape. It's called Terran Tape, and it looks something like this. Um, and remember now, whenever you have, whenever you have a plastic looking, a clear something, whether it's laminate or if it's, um, vellum or anything like that, you're going to see the adhesive, but, but we've got a cure for that. We have a cure for that. Okay. Um, yeah. So I don't know what you call this, y'all. But the other day, now we have not had to pick our grand girls up at school since the first couple of days after school started. I think it was two days. Maybe it was one. I don't remember. Um, but anyway, we picked them up a couple of times. And I had not even thought about that, that little card that they give you to put on your dashboard. Um, hadn't even thought about it. But lo and behold, the other day, I saw it. And I was like, oh, and I told Ninja Man, I said, you know what, we need to, We, I, I'm glad we saw this because I forgot we even had it, okay? Well, that very day, tear and tape, yes. Yes, Christina, tear and tape. Um, so that very day, my daughter says, can y'all pick the girls up after school? And I'm like, well, isn't that a coinkadink, all right? That's not all. Of course, we picked them up. We went to the library. If y'all are friends on my um, personal page, you'll see pictures of Ninja Man reading to them. I had already read a couple of books to them, but, um, you know, I, he doesn't take my picture, which is fine. It's fine. Unless I ask him. Sometimes I'm like, would you please just take my picture with the girls just so they'll remember me, right? In case I croak in my crafting studio while I'm having fun. All right. Now I'm just going to lay this down. And hoping I get it somewhat. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, please hold. Oh, dear. Come off. Come off. Y'all, it's not going to work. Okay, okay. It's all right. Our snow is going to be at the bottom. Doggone it. Hey, Heidi, so good to see you here. It's okay. Our snow can be at the bottom, okay, because snow settles. It it does. It settles. Uh, let me get another piece of cardstock here. Nope. Let's see. Please hold. So anyway, we picked up the girls and, you know, nothing, nothing spectacular about all that. But here's the other thing. So I had to go buy some shoes. All right. Um, Y'all know I'm diabetic, right? And I don't mean like I had to get the thick diabetic old people's shoes. No. Um, we've come a long way, baby. All right. Um, my doctor suggested that I get these shoes called Hoka, 
H-O-K-A. And I'm like, oh, okay, fine. Where can I go? And he gave me a couple of ideas of where to go. Now, what I'm trying to do here is cut... Hmm. I could really alter this right now. I'm going to show you how to do that when you screw up like I just did. Let me show you something. Remember that boss, my old boss, he used to stand there jingling his change in his pocket. Uh-huh. There he goes. That's right, Heidi. Snow usually does. Okay, so we're here's what we did. I just cut. Y'all, y'all saw it. Y'all saw it. Okay, I'm going to grab another piece of that cardstock if I can remember where I put it. Uh, it's soft sea foam, and I think this might be. Nope. So anyway, the doctor says he wanted me to get a particular kind of shoe. Because he's like, you know, people who... And my, diabe not, di my diabetes are in great control. I'm not, not really having an issue that. But he said... I just want you, and he's a foot specialist, and I went to him because I wanted somebody to tell me that I'm doing good, and he did, but I also went in flip-flops, and he, he about had a coronary, and he said, every time I see somebody who's diabetic, whether it's uh, type 1 or type 2 or whatever, he said, I, I panic. He said, I, I never want to see you in those shoes. I'm like, oh, okay. Now, here's what we're going to do. So y'all saw, I just cut it off, right? So all I'm doing is making a new front for the card because I really want it to turn out like I planned. I didn't have anybody to put in the chopper just then. <laughs> yes, Nyoko, oh, you finally heard me. I was shouting, cut off the front. Yes, ma'am. Here we go. We're just going to do this, y'all. Boom. Solution. Oh, hey, Alyssa, I'm so glad you're here. Yes, ma'am, I'm live, live, live. Okay, so the doctor says, I want you to have some really good shoes. He told me, just go get these. Uh, he actually said, go get New Balance. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So I go to, y'all, I had to go to like ru the runner, where the runners buy their shoes, which made me feel a little bit special, but it also made me feel a little bit, you know, like, why am I here? Hey, Barbara. Uh, yeah, um, Christina, I imagine with the flip-flops, I don't think any podiatrist can, no, no. He told me, and, and y'all, they're Clarks, and I love them, but he said never again. But anyway, so y'all, I go looking for these shoes. Well, nobody, my size, I wear a size nine, which is irrelevant, except for the fact that, now you know, it's a it's a size that's very popular. It's very generic for a lot of women. So there were no new balances in size nine. And I felt like, okay, I gotta I gotta hit the ground running on this. I don't have time to waste. So y'all, he told me go get hocus. I said, okay, because I called the doctor's office back. I said, New Balance is not an option. He said, get hocus. Okay. Hundred are y'all sitting down? A hundred and fifty dollars. Y'all. A hundred and Look at that. I left my host code up there. I'm sorry. $150. I mean, I'm still going, wait a minute. Y'all, I know I'm a girl. I know that us girls, we're supposed to love shoes, but I'm just, I'm not that, I'm just not. It's just not that big a deal for me. I'm going to trim this down. Right now it is at five and a half. Okay, so I'm going to go to five and it should be four and a quarter. Let me see how I want to do this. There we go. Yeah. So that should be, hold on. Yep. Four and a quarter. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to do four and a uh, eighth. So hundred and $50. But guess what? That wasn't all. I had to get socks. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Teresa's a five. Well, you're petite, too. And Christina, you have a ten to ten and a half. <coughs> and Dana, me, right? 
So I, I just, I'm just not that girl. And I know my husband's happy about that, that I don't need all those expensive things. But anyway, so then he's like, I want you to have these particular socks. I said, okay. Y'all, they're called, I think it was Thorlos, T-H-O-R-L-O-S, and they're athletic type thing. Nyoka's five and a half, have to buy a six in there. Oh, bless your heart. Goodness. Um, so this particular um, sock, it, it's like one pair is $14.99. And I'm like, what? Had to order those online. So anyway, all that happened. Okay. So here I am shopping for shoes, excuse me, that I really didn't want to buy in the first, excuse me, I keep hiccuping, in the first place. I had to go shop for shoes. And lo and behold, we're riding down the road and there is, there's like 20 pair of shoes just in the middle of the road. I mean, it, it's like when I found the little uh, card to pick up the girls from school, I hadn't used it in months or in weeks. And then all of a sudden daughter calls and says, can you pick them up? Same day. So then I go shopping for shoes. Same day. I see a pile of shoes in the road. And then we turned and went a different direction on our way home. Y'all, there were more shoes in the, in a different road. And I told Ninja Man, I said, what, what is this? What is this? Like I'm a magnet for that kind of uh, coincidence. I am. So that happened. Um, and, and I'm, I'm, y'all, I'm not real happy about having to own such expensive shoes, but, um, but I mean, I, I'm not going to buy them every six months. Alyssa, 11 wide, so hard to find shoes, just buy men cheaper and more. Oh, Alyssa, yes, I have a pair of snake boots. I went to Academy Sports and bought these snake boots because we live out in the country and we have this really cool walking path. And I thought, if I ever see a snake, I'm going to go ahead and have my heart attack right then and there. Um, so I, I figured, you know, the best thing I can do is just not have have a way that the snake can actually eat me, right? So, y'all, we were at Academy Sports and, and I... Um, I found these boots for women and they were like, I don't know, they were real expensive, but then they had the men's and I really liked the men's better. So I just got the men's and I think I wear like a six and a half or seven in men's, which makes me feel better. Um, Gloria, you can buy diabetic socks anywhere. They're just not tight on legs. Yes. And I bought a bunch, but they keep going into my shoe. Like when you're a little girl in church and those little nylon anklets go down in your leather pleather, pant and leather, whatever, Mary Janes. Yeah, my socks would do that. Okay, y'all, so I want to put this on the inside. All right, I'm going to trim it down just a wee bit more. Just a wee. Yep. So whatever coincidence that is, y'all, it's very unusual. Okay. Um. All right, so, so this way, when we put this on for good... It's going to look like this, okay? All right. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to find out where I want my bear. My bear. I'm going to put him where you can see the whole bear. Now, y'all know I'm going to screw this up. Let me get a little glue dot. Or, no, washi tape. I'm going to use washi tape. I got a piece right here I've been using. Okay. All right. We just washi tape him down. See, I want his little feet to be right on the edge here, okay? So that looks pretty good. Maybe just slide down just a wee bit right there. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna get a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, oh, where did the shoes come from that were in the road? I have no idea. They were all kinds of shoes. And I just looked at Ninja Man, I'm like, why is it on the day I find the little, the little note to put on the dashboard, pick up the girls, my daughter asked me to pick up the girls, which is unusual. And the one day I go to buy shoes, I'm looking everywhere. I don't even want to buy shoes. Looking everywhere. And lo and behold, there's a whole plethora of them out on the dang road. And I'm like, what is going on over here? It was crazy. Of course, none of them were, you know, I, I mean, I didn't, we didn't stop. 
<laughs> we didn't stop to look. <laughs> I could just see me going back to my doctor saying, yeah, I found me some shoes on the side of the road and I've been wearing them. <laughs> It'll be like, you're fired. Okay, so y'all, I know where I want my bear. I'm going to put my little tree, maybe, maybe right. Let's see. I kind of liked it over here on the other one. So let's put the tree there and see. Oh, I do like that. Okay, but uh-oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. All right, so I see I really need to get this thing stuck down to that. But not yet. Not yet. Okay, this is a little high. It's a little high. Um, yeah, so I just thought that was the craziest set of coincidences, you know? Okay, we can go a little further up. There we go. There. Mm. I'm going to put the tree down, and then we're going to put the bear down. And that's the way it's going to be. It's just the way it's going to be, y'all. Alexa, I heard you talking and planted the shoes in the road. You can run, but you can't. <laughs> you can't. Uh, that's right. That's right. I should have stopped and shopped. And you know who? The, the big brother heard me talking about shoes and said, Come and get them, lady. They're on your way home. There's a box full of them in the road. Oh, shoot, y'all. I... I'm not good at placing things and all that, but I know about where I want it to be. I want it to be about like this. Okay, little scooch down. And yes, the, the little bear, the little bear is going on. Come on now, stick down. Little bear, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just get him ready because um, it, it needs to happen. Okay. And this is why I said this card is a little tedious. Like, you're not going to want to make a bunch of these. You're not. Okay, he's just going on, and we'll see what happens. It's pretty close. A little scooch, just a little bit. Okay, that's it, Bear. You're on. You are on like Donkey Kong. On. So, y'all, all of that happened. Okay. All right, so, on another topic. Y'all know Ninja Man and I went, and I'm just going to be placing my little cutouts, y'all. I'll show you what all I got. And this is from the Whimsical Trees. Okay. Um, these, y'all, they're so cute. Dr. Zeus looking little long little trees here like this. Aren't they cute? Okay. And then I'm going to have my little, my penguin right about there. Um... So, y'all, Ninja Man and I, after we... Ooh, he's perfect. Perfect placement. After we went to um, Orange Beach, which I told y'all about, um, where we rented the camper and all that junk. It was fun. But you know what? We were there, and we're, we were both talking about how we just, we just really didn't go do a lot because we... It's been a tough couple of years, y'all, and before that, it was really tough. And we just went there and decompressed. That's pretty much all we did and ate and shopped. We definitely shopped. We definitely ate. All right. This, this is a little, um, glue eraser and I about wore one out. So now I'm just erasing the little bit of glue that came beside him right there, which you won't even see it in a minute. Um, so yeah, we were talking about that. And I told him I was going to ask y'all's opinion about, about something. And here it is. Um, Gloria, I'm definitely going to case this. I have everything except laminate. Oh, yes. It, and it's kind of like a shaker card. You know, you could even do it as a shaker card. Um, it's just so much fun to put together. Um, but y'all, here's the thing. We've been discussing it and we, we have just about decided for the next two years, instead of going off uh, for like a week's vacation, I mean, what do we have to vacate from? We're retired, and I don't mean to keep saying that, but y'all, I've worked my butt off my whole life. I didn't just walk into, you know, the world and say, oh, I think I'll just be retired. Doesn't work that way. Does not work that way. And it didn't work that way for me. And I put up with a bunch of I mean, back in the day, y'all, oh my goodness, you wouldn't believe some of the 
um, sexual BS that the the male employees were allowed to get away with. Okay, um, I, 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 there's one story in particular I wish I could share, but I won't. There's actually more than one, but I won't um, because it's so inappropriate. But it happened, and I and I was at work every day just trying to, you know, help feed my family, right? And um, and these these turd monkeys. Um, <laughs> I mean, you know, monkeys fling poo, right? So I think I can call this man a turd monkey. Um, anyway, they they got away with all kinds of stuff. Okay, so I'm just putting the trees kind of around him, like I really wanted that to be. Mm, Come on. Can, did y'all see that? It's it's cruising for bruising. That's what it's doing. That's what my mama would have said. So what we're thinking about is this. Instead of going on a vacation and spending, you know, a couple of thousand dollars, whatever, we are talking about putting in a pergola, over our fire pit and putting in an above ground pool with the um, with um, like a deck all around it. Oh, hey, Karen, teacher conference. <laughs> so we're talking and I want to get y'all's thoughts because we, I said, you know, if we do this, we're committing to being home. He said, yeah, 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 I know. And y'all, we've done this before. Um, when I was working for Coca-Cola, I was given the choice to either take a layoff because our facility was shutting down right here in Newnan, Georgia, y'all. I worked right there. And it's a, such a cool building. But anyway, I had a choice to either drive for an hour and a half up to an area called Cumberland Mall. It's on the other side of Atlanta. Or... I could take a layoff. I didn't even have to think twice on that one. And I just took the layoff, right? So um, I think I'm going to put this one right here because we're, we're getting a little busy. Just going to put a little glue right there. I'll probably regret that one on y'all. Okay, there we go. Oh, sweet. Okay, there we go. And we're just going to snip that edge off. So I took the layoff and I sold my stock, which... Anyway, I sold my stock in the company, okay? And <laughs> might not have been the best idea ever. But anyway, I walked away with a little, you know, a little bit of money. So my kids were little at the time. And um, uh, Christina says, what? And she's laughing. But I don't remember what we're talking about because I'm talking so much. Um, but y'all, we, um, we, we had little kids at home. And I was the one that that saved for our vacations and all this stuff. So we knew that, you know, won't be any trips to Disney soon. And uh, we're kind of going to be those parents who, you know, we just don't get to take our kids anywhere. And we've been enjoying, we've been enjoying taking them somewhere all the time. Um, except his parents had a place in Florida and we were able to go to Pensacola whenever we wanted, um, which was great. But, you know, somewhere just like a family getaway. We weren't going to be doing anything like that. So we took the money and we put in an above ground pool and a big old deck all around it. This was when my kids were little. This was in the 80s. And y'all, it was one of the best things I think we'd ever, we'd ever done. I'm going to close it first and see how to position this dang thing because y'all know I've already messed that up once. Um... Hold on, hold on. I can't be talking while I'm trying to trying to get it right. Oh, come on now. There we go. All right, I'm just sealing it down, y'all. Oh, yeah. Um, Angela, you had Coca-Cola stock. I did, I did. Do you know how many stamp sets that would have bought? Right? Oh, hey, Greg Smith. Hey, hey. Um, yeah, I know. I've thought about it many times, but you know what? It was some of the best money we ever, ever spent. And so we're talking about now, you know, we're older. We're not really going anywhere. And we thought, well, you know, we could just, 
we could just put in the pool and put in the um whatever I called it. Um it's like a gazebo, but whatever I said it was. Um hold on, I got a different one that I'm a little older that's dirty. What did I say it was? Uh starts with a V, y'all. Like a gazebo. But anyway, somebody's gonna come up and say it for me. Uh yeah, driving to Cumberland would have been back then it would have been an hour oh dear it would have been an hour well, okay all right y'all see what just happened there guess what we got options would have been an hour and a half to drive there and another hour and a half home and i mean i was not mm -mm. nope not gonna do it so i took the layoff so we're talking about pergola. That's it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. Pergola. So we're talking about instead of, you know, getting away from it all, because we're away from it all right where we are. Um, we're we're probably just going to do that, y'all. I mean, I don't know. We're talking about it. And I told Ninja Man I was going to tell y'all tonight. And um, and just, you know, kind of get a feel. Kind of get a feel. Um. Myoka would be a great investment. Screen it because of the bugs. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the pergola would have to be screened, and the pool would be uh, maintained all year round, and um, and it would be uh, uh, covered in the winter. And we don't have any little kids, and we're out in the country, so, I mean, we wouldn't even have to put a fence up, but if we had to, we would. This little fox, y'all, I cut him out, too. And I'm thinking of putting him there, but I might put him here. I think I'm going to put him right there. That's where the other one is, and I think it's cute as a button. I could use a glue dot here. I'm just going to use this glue because I've already got it working. Thank you, Michelle. And now you see these are his fuzzy little paws. I'm just going to put them right on the edge of that darker. No, nah, I'm going to put it on the edge of the window. Now, y'all see how I wanted the snow effect to look? Oh, Karen, pool, pergolas, chimney, staycation all year. Okay, yep, yep. I, there you go. I think that's what we're going to end up doing. Because the money we spent on vacation, you know, we, we could have already put up the pergola, probably. Well, yeah, I mean, we want a big one, of course. You know, go big or go home. All right, so y'all. I'm notorious for not putting on a sentiment, but we're going to put a sentiment on. Look at the trees. Aren't they just adorable? Uh, Nyoka, son and family have an above ground. They enjoy it so much. Yes, Lisa, I think of it as something else to clean. <laughs> I know, and Ninja Man's going to clean it, y'all. He's going to maintain it and clean it. Um, and we had an above ground pool. When we first moved here, we put one in. But y'all, I'm I wasn't able to make it up and down that ladder, that little pool ladder. We didn't have a good way to do it. Now, y'all, I'm just snapping off the edge of this. So it's, you know, it's like a flag, kinda. And I'm deciding, do I even want to. Hmm. Y'all, I don't know. I think I'm gonna cut it down even more. Um, but yeah, we had one and Oh, the, we were in it all summer, even though I had a lot of trouble with that ladder. So, um, I don't, I told him, I said, I, I can't do that ladder again. But anyway, we're, we're going to get, we're going to look at it and see if it's what we can do right now. We definitely want to. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Yeah, I had to narrow this little flag down, this little guy down. And I'm, I'm just going to go back in here for a second. And I'm just going to get it quite a bit closer. Okay, you see where it's pretty much centered? Let me look. Yep. And this is a triple banner punch. This thing is a hoss, y'all. Uh, top left looks good. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Now I can see the little trees around it. I like that. Um, this one I am going to put on with a, a couple of glue dots. And since y'all have not seen him tonight, here comes boom, 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 scary dental tool. Um, yeah, so we're we're looking at doing that. And um, and y'all, we we also went looking at recliners. They 
they, they're they highfalutin these days. They are highfalutin. We spend a lot of time in our recliners, and um, I got the body to prove it. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, this, this whole, this whole change of everything, it just kind of really just made us go, hold on. We really love home and, um, and, and, and we, we think this is what we want to do. So, um, I just thought I'd, I'd let y'all know, get your thoughts on it. Okay. So this is our cute little card. Look at him. Isn't he cute? This bear and this little fox is what sold me on the free paper, free in celebration as long as, hey, Barbara, when you did um inventory, I was watching your video and I got called away. Um, when you did that, um, do we still have the um, penguin place paper or whatever it's called in celebration? Let me look. Hold on. It's called uh, Penguin Playmates. Okay. Oh, I should zoom out. But wait, first, while um, I'm waiting on Barbara to tell me if she knows. Y'all, are y'all ready? Um, Nyoka, thank you. Karen, thank you. Christina, thank you. Aren't they just so cute? And here's the thing, y'all, that I've been telling y'all about Stampin' Up. This color is exactly this color. They coordinate perfectly, y'all. This green coordinates perfectly with the, um, the ink they tell us to use. I went rogue with this green and all that, but yeah. Okay, so here's the first one. As of yesterday, we did. Okay, y'all. Thank you, Barbara. So, y'all, this penguin play, play, hold on. Uh, penguin Playmates. All right, that is this paper. And um, I'll show you real quick. I've been using the hound out of it, but you know, we get two sheets of every pattern, right? So, Here's, I'm just going to show you close up. The bear and the fox not too sold on the penguin. You know, I, I've never needed a penguin, but after after I made this, I was like, yeah, I, I need him. Um, so you could even cut these guys out if you want. They, you know, they need to be in proportion. You see how big he is? All of them, they're in proportion. But like you wouldn't use this bear unless you want to put him in the background somewhere. That would be cute. Um, I this is going to happen one of these days, this striped paper, but I have no idea right now. Look how big they are. Aren't they cute? But now this one is the only one that will uh, that will punch. Um, of course, we've got the stamp set that, of course, the punch punches, right? Penguin Place. The punch will punch this out and this out and what else? I think that's it. I think. I'd have to look again at the punch. Um, okay, so we're still looking at paper. And this is free with a $50 order. I got two packs. Let me tell y'all this. If you place an order that's minimum $50, earlier I said you'll be in the drawing for this stamp set that is brand new. I've never used it. You have to... Uh, you have to get a $150 order in order to get it from the host section of the catalog. And it's brand new. Everybody who orders between now and September 30th, $50 order before tax and uh, shipping will be in a drawing for this stamp set. I have one and somebody's going to win it. I hope it's going to be you. Now, also, when you place an order for $50 or more, you can choose an item for free at a celebration. Um, be sure and, and get it fast. But here's the thing. If you, this is one of the free items here. If you go in there to buy your, your $50 or more and this is sold out, all you got to do is pick something else and let me know and I will send you a six by six um, six inches by six inches, okay, um, a quarter of a pack. I'll just send it to you to say thank you. And all the orders um, between now and the end of September, September 30th, they are, everybody who orders is going to get 10 free cards from me, handmade cards. Now, I'm going to show you the one that I worked on before I went live. It's a hot mess. Are y'all ready? All right, this is it. Now, let me tell you why it's a hot mess. 
you see how I was telling y'all to cut the two, these two, um, this one and this one, cut them together. It's hard to run through your big shot or your, uh, scan, uh, scan and ball, whatever it's called, uh, S-C-E-M, Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine. Huh. Okay. I wish they'd just not reinvent the wheel on that, but anyway, you see how it's not even, I mean, y'all, I sweated over it, and I'm like, you know what, it's, it's not worth it. This is a, this is just a demo card, and seeing if I can do it, and I also put snow all over, all right? Um, thank you, Teresa. Over here, the snow is just in the top, okay? That's those iridescent flakes that we no longer sell, but you can buy little snowflakes anywhere, you know? Um, and th this does say it's a choking hazard, but I haven't tried to eat it yet. Um, <laughs> okay, so definitely you want to lay those that die down and at least impress that second piece of cardstock. Um, I think all the snow on here made it a little too busy. Um, when you open it, it looks like this. It's just as clean as this one. I do like that because, you know, if, if you're not a card maker, you're going to be like, how did they do that? How do they get all that in there? And it, it has texture. You can feel it. Um, so other things. I wanted the pink trees, but to me, the pink just didn't pop enough. I wanted it I don't know what I wanted, but I didn't want this. And then I went in and I used the silver, some old stock of, uh, <laughs> y'all, I, I, hey, if I can't laugh, I, I, I don't know. Um, but y'all, so I cut out these little zigzag um, thingamawoppers and stuck them on there. That's a little too busy. It's just a little too busy. This is a lot nicer. It's calmer to me, okay? But if, if you like it like that, then do it. Then I thought, hey, we used to have silver trees. So I'll put that hot mess right there. And then I stamped these in pink and that one in pink. And y'all, it was just too much. But my fox is perfect. He's just perfect, y'all. Perfect. So there we go, y'all. I'm going to see if I can. Boop. <gasps> I did it. Y'all, I should get like a little prize. Every time I do that right, right? every time okay what was i saying about this oh okay it will cut out the the outside shape it'll cut out the inside shape and it will cut out the wee toesies the the little foots okay uh you're on your own when it comes to a beak you are just on your own okay but this this is available in the uh catalogs anyway if y'all let me know um if you if you uh need to order or what let's see nyoka i've i've started telling my my hubby you just sit over there and think about what and he goes huh <laughs> love it oh my gosh oh. oh michelle they are too cute thank you linda hi kathy linda waters here don't sweat the small stuff the card's beautiful would never have noticed any of the details are too busy or uneven oh see linda gets a trophy woohoo thank you linda thank you Hey, did y'all see this? Did I ever show y'all this? I've got it sitting up here so I could. Y'all, do you remember, I mean, anybody who's probably over 45, maybe, you would know what this is. But but nowadays, y'all, he can do the stanky leg. Watch. Stanky, no, wait. There he goes. Stanky leg, stanky leg. I don't even know what that means. And it might be ugly and dirty. I have no idea, but it sounds funny. He was $1 y'all. And I was like, he has to go home with me. I showed my grand littles and they were pretty, pretty intrigued with it. Um, but then they went back to their video games and I'm like, y'all, y'all just don't know. Y'all just don't know. We had to entertain ourselves the best way we could. Okay. So that's what I got tonight. And I'm so sorry I missed y'all Wednesday of last week. <laughs> um, I missed y'all Wednesday. Um, because I had, I y'all, I had to go to that doctor, and I'm just like, whatever, Mister. And I, I guess all those shoes in the road was like bait. I don't know. If y'all miss the stories, you need to go back and rewind or something. I don't know. Or maybe you need to just miss the stories. Okay, guys. 
I thank y'all so much for being here tonight. Um, I'm going to hold up my little card here. Boop, if you want to do a screenshot. Boop. Um, yeah, you're not 40 yet. That's right. Thank you, Barbara. And y'all, you know my site. It's kathybow.stampinup.net. And there is my September host code. Use that if your order's under $150. You're going to get 10 cards from me and a chance to win this bum, 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 amazing stamp set. For how much? Free. It's free. That's right. It's free. Thank you. It was fun, and I just appreciate y'all so much. I am planning to be live on Thursday at 1 p.m. for the um, Kathy Bow Crafting Show. Join me over there at my other desk. And I have no idea what we're going to make, but we're going to use something from Celebration. All right. God bless. Take care. Toodles.